In this video, I'm gonna share my top nine pencil brushes for digital artists. That's coming up next. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Aaron Rutten, and it is my mission to help artists like you enjoy digital art and learn some new skills along the way. That's why today I'm gonna be demonstrating some of the best pencil brushes you can use to create digital art. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that these are ranked based on my own personal preference. It doesn't mean that any one brush is better than another. I'm also only counting brushes that are default brushes. I'm not counting third-party add-on brushes. Starting with number nine, we have Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. And the brush that we want is found under Texture Essentials. It's called Pencil Pal. Go ahead and sketch a circle with this and do a little bit of shading. Now this pencil and the next few pencils do not support pen tilt to allow you to shade with the side of your pencil, but it is a pretty decent looking basic pencil that will do the job if your pen does not support pen tilt. Next up we have number eight, and this is an application called Leonardo. First we'll select the paint tool. Then we want to look under brush. We want to go ahead and click the back button here, and then we'll make sure we're looking under pencil. Go ahead and sketch a circle with this. It responds very well to pen pressure to control the opacity of the line. So I can very easily shade lighter and darker lines just by pressing lighter or heavier with my pen. Unfortunately, this does not support pen tilt, so you can't tilt the shade with the side of your pencil, but it does respond very nicely to opacity. The texture of the brush is great too. I like how the line is a little bit irregular and a little bit chunky rather than being too smooth. I think it looks more natural than the previous pencil. Moving on to number seven and wrapping up the pencils that do not support pen tilt is Rebel. I'm gonna go ahead and select the pencil tool and the preset I'll choose is 2B. If I sketch a circle with this pencil, you'll see it has a great paper texture that matches that paper texture in the background. And I like that that texture looks very organic and natural. However, the pencil itself is not very dynamic. If I sketch with it here, you can see it doesn't respond very well to change the size or opacity using pen pressure. It's just a basic line, but it does look more organic than the two previous examples. That's why I ranked it a bit higher. Photoshop CC is number six, and now we're getting into the category of pencils that do support pen tilt. So you can tilt your pen like this and it'll change the shape of your mark. Now technically Photoshop does not have a default pencil that can support pen tilt, but you can very easily customize one of the default brushes. If we go up here to brushes and we look under dry media brushes, we wanna be choosing Kyle Ultimate Pencil Hard. Then we wanna locate our brush settings and under shape dynamics, We'll change the size control from pen pressure to pen tilt. Now you may or may not be able to see this, but as I tilt my pen, the shape of the brush is ever so slightly changing. So now what this means is that I can draw kind of upright like this, and then I can start to tilt my pen, and the mark gets a bit bigger and broader as if I'm shading with the side of my pencil. It feels very much like it would if you were working with a traditional pencil. I can also use lighter pressure to get a lighter mark, and I can increase that pressure to make it darker and more opaque. This starts to feel a lot more like a real pencil when you have control over the tilt and the opacity. Not all pens will support pen tilt. Some do and some do not. You may want to check the specifications of your tablet to see whether or not it does. I'm using a Wacom Pro Pen, and this one does. The Wacom Grip Pens do, but many of the entry-level Wacom tablets do not. Pencil number five is found in Clip Studio Paint, and this is the rough pencil found under the pencil tool. We'll go ahead and sketch a little test mark here. You can see it has a very nice grain to it. It's nice and textured. I can tilt my pen to get some nice grainy shading like this, or I can put it back upright, press down harder, and get a nice thick opaque line. The texture is definitely a lot more prominent on this brush compared to some of the other brushes. So that may or may not be a good thing depending on your style. And of course, if you're more upright with the pencil, then it's gonna be thinner. And as you start to go tilted here, it makes a broader mark. Now, I don't know that this is necessarily better than the Photoshop pencil that I created. It really comes down to preference, but I did rank this one a bit higher than Photoshop because it's a default brush and not one that I had to create myself. Pencil number four is found in Art Rage. I'm using Art Rage 5. I'm gonna go ahead and select the pencil tool, and the preset that I want is called Soft Tip. I'll just sketch a little circle here. 
When the pen is more upright, I get that thin line with paper texture. But if I turn my pen to the side, then I can shade with the side of the pencil and I can get that broader mark with more texture. If I press down harder, I can make it thicker and more opaque. And if I press down lightly, then I can fade it out into nothing. I really like the way that the paper texture looks on this one. It looks a lot more organic than some of the previous examples. It's also well balanced and it has a nice feel. It's very obvious when the pen is tilted, the mark is broader and it's thinner when it's more upright. As you can see here, it's very versatile. I can go from that nice thin line to my nice thick shading lines like this. Moving on to number three, we have Paintstorm Studio and the brush that we want is called Dynamic Pencil. Now, if you look at my cursor here, you can actually see it representing the angle of my pen or the tilt. You can see if it's more upright or it's more at an angle. I feel like this visual indicator is actually very helpful because it shows you on the fly what the angle of your pen is. And that'll give you a better idea of how wide of a mark you're going to make when you draw with this. I also noticed that the paper texture is quite a bit softer than many of the other pencils. Overall, this dynamic pencil just looks and feels a bit more organic and is more responsive than some of the other pencils. That's why I ranked it a bit higher. Now we're starting to near the end. Brush number two is found in Krita, and that is Pencil 5 Tilted. Go ahead and sketch with the pen up right here. Get a very nice textured line that responds very well to pen pressure. So I can get a very dark line or a very light line easily just by varying my pen pressure. I can also get this nice tilt. My cursor also responds to the tilt of my pen, so I can see that I'm getting that broader mark. I feel like I prefer a more subtle cursor change like this rather than the one in Paintstorm Studio, which is a little bit too complex. The paper texture looks very natural. It's not too obvious or too subtle, and the transitions in opacity are very smooth as well. This is really one of the better digital art pencils that I've used, and even better, it's free because Krita is free. And now, number one, my favorite pencil is found in Corel Painter, and that is the real 2B pencil found in the pens and pencils category. As you can see, if I change the angle of my pen, the cursor responds very nicely, and I can easily see the tilt of my pen and how wide my stroke is gonna be. I'll go ahead and just sketch with this upright. You can see I get a little bit of subtle texture there. It responds very nicely to pen pressure. So I can change the opacity. I can shade with it and I get a really nice smudgy organic mark that builds up on itself a little bit so it's not too perfect. I can easily darken that edge like so. I also like that I can easily go in here and I can change my paper texture to something else. And I can really easily get different looks for my brush choose something that's a bit more grainy like this. You can change the scale of the grain really quickly and easily. So it's just really easy to go in here and customize my brush on the fly to get the exact look that I want. So there you go, those are my top nine pencil brushes for digital artists. If you found this information helpful, click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more digital art videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.